When 100 grams of calcium sulfate dihydrate is heated, some of the water is going to evaporate away, or rather all of the water molecules are gonna be driven off. And so you're gonna be left with a smaller amount of this anhydrous compound, which is just CaSO4, with no water molecules trapped inside the ionic lattice. When 100 grams of it is heated, what mass of that anhydrous compound remains? Well, it's gonna be less than 100, but by how much? The way that I solve a problem like this is to calculate the percent of water or the percent by mass of water in the molecule itself. I do that by figuring out what the contribution of water is to the mass out of the molar mass of the whole molecule. Now that's gonna take me a second here. So the molar mass contribution of water is that I have two water molecules, but what do two water molecules weigh? Well, each water is two H's. That's two 1.01s and an O. That's 16.00. And when I do all that math on my calculator, I get uh, 36.04 grams per mole. Make sure you do what's in brackets first. So that means two waters weigh 36.04 grams per mole. Now that's treating the two waters as a single unit. That's obviously not a single molecule. The molar mass of the whole molecule here is the contribution of calcium and sulfur and four oxygens and that water all combined. Calcium is 40.08. Oh, 40. 0.08. Sulfur is 32.07. Four oxygens is four sixteens. And then the two H2Os, we've already calculated the mass of, it's 36.04. When I do all that math on my calculator, I'm actually going to need a calculator for that one. 40.08 plus 32.07 plus four times 16 plus 36.04. I get 172.19 grams per mole. What that means is that my percent by mass of water in this compound is 36.04 out of the total 172.19. You can see we're doing just the water out of the entire molecule. We're gonna get some fraction here. I get 0 0.2093 or 20.93%. What that means is that when we heat this 100 grams of dihydrate, we're going to lose 20.93% of the mass to water that evaporated. Now, if you want, you can say that the percent by mass of the anhydrous ionic compound here is going to be, well, whatever 100% minus 20.93% is. That turns out to be 69, no, 79.07%. And so what we're left with is 79.07% of the original mass we were given. Now, for me, it was 100, and so that's a, like an easy number to take a percent of. But even if you were given some more obscure number, you would just end up doing this percent, 79.07. Wow, that is not how you type that. 79.07 divided by 100 because of the percent. Just get it to 0 0.7907. You know how to convert percents to decimals. And multiply it by the mass you were given. Now, again, for me, that was super easy. It ends up giving me 79.07, but it doesn't matter how complicated the number you were given there is. The point is, 100 grams of the dihydrate lost 20.93% of its mass, and so you're left with 79.07 grams of the anhydrous compound. Very nice. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.